All right, um, this is supposed to be streaming live. Um, I'm using the Chrome browser right here. And as you can see right now, it's not streaming live at all. It's stuck at one part um, up in this area here. I've got the live button, the configuration button, but the playback button is missing. And down here, there's supposed to be a bunch of other buttons. I'll show you on Internet Explorer in a minute, but they're all gone. There's, they're just, they're not here. Um, okay, using Internet Explorer, which is a very unsecure browser, and I hate using, and it's kind of ironic that this is the only one that it works in for a security camera. Up here, you've got the the live, which this is a live video shot right now. It's working and I have the playback which I it's not showing up on the other one and I've tried it on other browsers too and it's it's the same it doesn't work down here you can take a snapshot you can start a recording this is the full screen like it is this is where if you had other cameras hooked up you could um, watch four of them here or you can press this one and it looks like about nine of them you could have hooked up and watch that that's pretty cool there's the one right here that the one camera is hooked to but if you go back again to the to the Chrome browser you can see that none of none of those choices are here and it had streamed live on Chrome at one time I don't know why it's locked up on this picture right here right now I don't know and in the configurations it's pretty much the same on both of them you've got a lot of settings here let's go to media you can set your video stuff you can set your image settings it's not a lot of choices for the image but there there's some network that shows you the the um the wireless settings and all all this kind of stuff which most of the time you don't gotta really mess with because once you get it set, you want to leave it. Um, here's an alarm setting. Oops. You can schedule for different different times for it to automatically go off. Like if you know you're not going to be home or something, you can start making recordings. And then in your advanced mode, you've got auto snap, time recording, email. That's nice. You can put in your email information and then FTP, you put in that information and it will go right into the internet where you, where you have wherever you have your FTP stuff located but to watch there, to see anything, you've got to upload all the files back onto your computer before you can watch them because they it just doesn't do it any other way so that's about all I think I needed to show you with that. Okay, bye bye. Security camera. It's just sitting on my deck right now. I'm going to hook it up to the side of a shed, but I need to drill a hole in the shed so I can mount the wire through it. Um, it's got a lot of this extra stuff here. This is what you used to plug it into the modem in the beginning to get it to set up correctly. This part right here is what plugs it into the electric and that's a pretty loose fitting so I'm going to be taping that together and and mounting it better when I get it up on the wall or up on the outside of the building. The software that it comes with is is kind of quirky. Couldn't get it to work right in the beginning trying to do it directly on my computer so I put the app on my phone and that did work real good but my phone doesn't have enough memory on the internal memory and it will not let me put it on the SD card so I ended up having to take it off my phone um, it didn't work at all on my camera or I mean on my computer well I had it on the phone but once I deleted it from there then I was able to work it on the computer which I think isn't quite right I think I should be able to to work it on both on both um, devices anyways it is color during the day when I had it in the house 
it wasn't in color. It was only in black and white. But when I brought it outside, it was in color. At night, it's black and white, but that's understandable. And um, there's a lot of directions. I guess we'll just have to sit down and read through everything and figure out exactly how to get things set. I did get the FDP hooked up, and it's working good. The file system's kind of weird. you got to um, click on each one separately. The the video drag bar does not work. You can just have to sit there and watch it through. You can't like fast forward it or drag it back. All in all, it's a pretty good camera. Thank you.